Today I want to answer the question, does he like me? And I want to share 17 signs with you that prove that he likes you. And the first sign I want to share with you is a very simple sign, and that's the sign of a big, bright, beautiful, or maybe not so beautiful, smile. If a man smiles at you, it's a clear sign that he likes you. Otherwise, he wouldn't smile at you. I, as a man, can promise you that if a guy has no interest in a woman, he would never smile at her. But if a guy has only a little bit of interest, just a little bit, he will smile at her. And the more he smiles and the more he can stop smiling, the more interest he has in you. And if he tries his best to find out if you are single or if you have a boyfriend. If you're, for example, in a conversation with a guy and he constantly mentions, ah, oh, yeah, I mean, your boyfriend must like that. Ah, oh, do you do that with your boyfriend? Uh, what about your boyfriend? Um, actually, um, do you have a boyfriend? If he tries it in all kinds of different ways or he chooses one of these ways to find out if you have a boyfriend. And some guys, they don't really talk about the boyfriend because they don't want to mention it. They don't want to be too forward because they are, well, too shy to actually say it. And they go all around a big circle and they might ask you, um, yeah, when you usually do something on the weekend and you do this, uh, who do you do that with? Um, uh, uh. It can be really annoying, but just remember that it's a sign that he really likes you because he wants to find out if you are single. And what if he asks you for your number? Even if he might be a little bit awkward, if he might say, yeah, well, we should maybe stay in contact. Uh, what do you think? Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, a lot of guys who are very confident, they will also say, hey, come on, let's stay in contact. Let's exchange numbers. But some guys, the guys who are a little bit on the shy side, they might again beat around the bush and come up with all kinds of excuses to stay in contact. In this case, if you are really interested in this guy, just forgive him and say it's okay. Uh, I know why he does it and I like him, so it's totally okay. Maybe you can even say it's kind of cute that he beats around the bush. I don't know. But I just know it from a lot of men that they do this and I just wanted to share that with you. And what if he likes your pictures on social media and he might even leave a comment? Then he likes you, especially if he compliments a picture and he tells you how beautiful you are. I know this is something that, uh, I don't know, when I talk to guys, I always give the advice to not do it because it just communicates neediness. Would be great if you let me know what you think about that. I mean, you can shoot me an email and let me know. I personally think that if a guy does that, it communicates neediness if he comments on your pictures. But maybe you like it. I don't know. But no matter if you like it or if you don't like it, if he does it, he likes you. And what if he follows the three-day rule because he thinks it makes him a genius? Oh, then he really likes you and it's so, so annoying. This is the worst mistake a guy can possibly make, at least in my opinion. It's the stupid idea that when you get a woman's phone number, you should wait for three days and then text her because this shows that you have a busy lifestyle. While you are then waiting by your phone and thinking to yourself, huh, I don't get it. I thought this guy's interested in me. Why doesn't he text me? Why doesn't he call me? And then after three days, you're so annoyed by his behavior, by his childish behavior, that you don't even want to see him again, which is completely understandable. But if a guy does that, even if it pisses you off, even if it annoys you, Always remember that he thinks he has to do it in order to make you more interested. So yes, if he waits exactly three days until he calls you or texts you, then he's a victim of the three-day rule and he is interested in you. But I promise you, if you watch the video in the description and if you use these techniques that will help you to become his secret obsession, then he can't even wait three days. Even if he might try to convince himself, yeah, I have to wait three days until I text her. If you become his secret obsession, which is exactly what you will learn if you click on the link in the description and watch this video till the very end, then he won't be able to wait three days because he's so obsessed with you and he wants to meet you so, so bad that he will text you after one day and maybe even after a couple of hours or even minutes after meeting you. And what if he always tries to touch you? And sometimes it's a little bit awkward. He touches your shoulder, he touches your leg, he tries to be so close to you that your legs touch and you're just always somehow touching. And you have this feeling, huh, I mean, it's kind of weird. It also feels good because you're into him. But at the same time, 
he might sometimes do it in an awkward way because he, yeah, I mean, he just wants to try his best and say it like this. And sometimes when men are not really good at dating, then they touch a woman in a way that's kind of awkward. But if you like him, you might want to forgive him for that. That's, of course, totally up to you. And what if he's more affectionate and friendlier to you than your friends? Let's say there's this guy in your social circle and you're not quite sure if he likes you. And whenever you're out with your friends, and let's just say for an example, it's him and two of your female friends, so two other women, and he's always the friendliest to you, and he's always talking to you, and he always shows affection to you. And it seems like that in his reality, your other two friends don't even exist. This means that he really likes you, and your friends might even tell you, hey, why does he behave like this with you, but not with me, if your friends tell you that he really likes you. And if he's curious about your past, because he thinks about a future with you. And I know your past doesn't define you. Everyone can change at any given point in time. I know that, you know that, but a lot of men still believe that your past matters more than it actually matters. So as a result, they will ask you questions concerning your past, especially your past relationship, maybe even past friendships, past career choices, whatever it might be. He only does that because he's interested in you. And it's kind of a biological drive. He wants to find out if you are the right girl for him. And for a lot of men, this means to find out what you did in the past and what kind of life you were living. I mean, let's face it, you're probably also interested in him and his past if you want him to be your boyfriend. And the same is true for him. And what if he immediately ignores everyone around him the moment you show up even though he might have been in a conversation with them, but he still ignores them. This means that he only has eyes for you. Imagine the following situation. You enter the room, he's just talking to two friends, and the moment you step in, his eyes go whoop directly to you, and he looks at you, and he stares at you, and he can't focus on the conversation anymore. And his friends might even say, Hey, Steven, 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 hey, are you still there? And he's only focused on you. This means that he likes you. And I promise you, if you click on the link in the description and you watch this incredible video till the very end and you discover how you can make him so obsessed with you that he can't even think of another woman, then you will experience that more and more, that he's so focused on you because he's so obsessed with you and he can't focus on anything what happens around him. And this is just one of the side effects of becoming his secret obsession. So does he like me? Yes, he likes you if he pursues you even more when you mention another guy, because then his competition instinct goes, Rrr, I want this woman, I can't let this happen, I can't let this other guy win. And this happens whenever you say, hey, uh, there's this guy who asked me out, or this guy wanted to get my number, or hey, I'm meeting this friend of mine, his name is insert any male name, and he will be, oh, ah, uh -huh. your friend, uh, um, where are you going with him, um, what are you doing, uh, why? This means he likes you, because he's a little bit jealous, or maybe he's not just a little bit jealous, but no matter if he's a little bit jealous, or he's really, really jealous, he wants you. And you might also have the feeling that he doesn't want the day to end. Let's say you spend time with him alone, or maybe even in a group of friends, but you spend time with him and he doesn't want to leave, and he doesn't want you to leave, because he already sees it as a date, even if you might be with a group. But if you are alone, then he for sure sees it as a date. And if he doesn't want this date to end, if he wants to spend as much time with you as possible, that's a clear sign that he likes you. And if he tells you how beautiful you are, and he does it over and over again, up to a point where it's already a little bit annoying, he just showers you with compliments, and he does that because he really likes you. And if you want to feel beautiful, if you want to feel confident, and if you want to have the ability to attract the man of your dreams, then you might want to check out the second link in the description and inquire for your first Skype coaching session with me. Because in a Skype coaching session, I can tell you exactly what you have to work on and how you can then attract the man that you want to attract. Because this allows me to focus on your individual situation. Because every guy is different and every situation is different and I know that I can help you with that. And he always comes up with new creative date ideas, even though you might have never called it a date. 
like I said, maybe you were just hanging out with a group or you were hanging out alone and he just comes up with these ideas all the time. You have the feeling, oh yeah, great, he's so creative. He always wants to visit another restaurant and he wants to go to another place. He does that because he wants to impress you and because he really, really likes you. So, does he like me? Here's the last sign I want to share with you. If he wants you to be a part of his life, he likes you. And I mean, he really likes you. If he wants you to be a part of his social circle, if he, for example, introduces his friends to you, or if he wants you to be a part of his hobbies, if he takes you to the places that he likes, if he does all these things, this means that he likes you. And I promise you, he will do all these things if you become his secret obsession. And if you want to discover how you can make the man of your dreams really obsessed with you, then you can click on the link in the description and watch this video till the very end. And if you enjoyed watching this video, if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. Share your opinion, share your thoughts. I would love to hear from you. And I would love it even more if you would hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell so that you get notified whenever I release a new video for you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video.